Okay, we're finally ready to take a simplified PDA and generate, whoops, and generate a context tree grammar. And this is where things get um, hairy. This is not very trivial part. So what do we have to do? Basically, now we have to look at our PDA, and for every um, for every state in our um, in our diagram in our PDA, so we look at all states, and for each state, we the easiest thing is you just give it a number. So you you label you 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 give a number to each state. So you have state one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a variable that goes from a 1, 1, and A, 2, 2. Let's say you have five states, A, 1, 1, A, 2, 2, A, 3, 3. Um, so you're going to generate five variables if you have five states, and each variable is going to be labeled by the, um, the number of the state, comma, the number of that state. And it's going to have a produc production to epsilon. So you're going to generate five rules for five states. The next thing you're going to do is for every you're going to do a combination. For all combinations of states, Q, P, Q, R, okay, even if they're the same. So you're going to do for each state, P in states, for each state, R in states, and for each Q in states, you're going to generate one rule. Okay, so if you have five, you're going to do five times five times five. Okay, so you already see how many rules you're going to generate. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go from P, P to Q, P comma Q, uh, and then you're going to put the variables PR and R, RP. So you're going to generate all of those rules. And next what you're going to do is the even more confusing one. So these ones are straightforward as long as you generate all possible states. You know, you do like a triply nested for, for loop that ranges over all states in your PDA. The last thing you have to do is is this pattern. So for every uh, edge that is um, reading some A, so let's ignore what is reading, but if it's pushing you and then popping you, okay, this is what you really care. So for every every push of you of some letter U, where you 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 iterate over all pops of the same letter U. Okay, so you're going to try to find all edges that are popping you. And what you're going to do is you're going to generate a rule that takes the letters P and Q that are the initial state and end state of each of these two pairs. And then you're going to take R and S. R and S are going to be pointing to the destination. So you're going to use these letters, which are the letters found in the you know, the, the beginning and end state of this transition, beginning and end state of this transition, those are what you use. And I try to use underscores and different colors just so it's easier to understand. But this is a bit confusing, of course, I understand. I acknowledge that. Uh, the notation, what it's trying to say is really this two edges. So this part corresponds to this part, and this part corresponds to that part, but it's just formally. I try to use the same colors-ish this is kind of purple and this is red, but it's supposed to be closed. Uh, and this is in code how you would generate that. You would have to go through all transitions where you have A, Epsilon, U, and then you have to go over all transitions that have a matching U and then output to Epsilon. And again, remember that all, all transitions are simplified, so they're either on this format or in this format. So once you do all of that, um, you will generate lots of them. I'm going to show you guys how how many uh, rules you get. Um, okay, so but really, what I, I care about, I don't care too much about uh, doing this. What I care more about is um, for you guys to do to to know how to simplify a PDA. If I give you a PDA, um, okay. So if I give you this PDA, is this PDA simplified? Um, let's see. So please pause the video, try to answer that for yourself. Okay, I hope you, you try to do that yourself. And let's confirm. So let's see this transition. It's just popping, so that's good. It's just pushing, so that's good. This one just pushes, so that's good as well. This one just pushes, this, this one just pops. Push uh, and pop. Pop and pop. 
so no push so they're all good so yes this is simplified which is great so <laughs> let's try to generate you would get all of these combinations i did this with the program that's the only reason i know why this works um, this is just step one you would get one rule for each of the four states oh actually i didn't do for q so you should have a zero zero which makes it even more combinations um, and then you have one two one one three and so on but you should also have between zero uh, and all of these uh, and then finally if you ignore q you would have to generate at least these um, so you can do it on your own try to figure that out um, okay so what else uh, from here uh, this is just an intuition of why you have this um, which is what I just explained to you um, okay and finally the last example is try to simplify this um, PDA um, and this one I'm gonna let you look at the final slides once I upload it okay the basic idea is just go through each one try to see if it's simplified you can see uh, I'm gonna pause please pause so that I can continue explaining okay so you're gonna see that this one is not simplified this one is not simplified so all the epsilon transitions and then you will see that this one is also not simplified because um there are two accepting states and you want to have only one um so you want to make sure you do that before but they're both empty the stack so that at least that part is good uh, but then you have to fix these two edges and then connect these two to a single state so if you try to do that one solution would be uh, this one where you connect every one to one you have the initial state and everything is fine Okay, I hope you had fun.